Belgium is undoubtedly a stunning and scenic country and the sixth richest country in the world with a wealth of things to see and do. The country has some of the most beautiful places in the world and that makes you fall in love with them. Meanwhile, Belgian chocolate, waffles, beer and other Belgium's tourist attractions. Belgium is an incredibly safe place to travel. Besides, NATO's headquarters as well as the European Commission and Parliament are all located in Belgium. Hence, let us look at the magnificence of Belgium. Hey guys, welcome to another exciting video from World Travel Inside. In this video today, we take a look at the must-visit places in Belgium. But before we start, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to never miss a video from us. That said, now come, let's take a look. The Royal Greenhouses of Laeken as its name suggests, the royal greenhouse truly offers your eyes to witness royal beauty. The Belgian monarchy's royal conservatory is a stunning sight and a source of a delightful smell in the nose with its gorgeous blend of Art Nouveau architecture and exotic plants. This place has a long-dated history that goes back to the 19th century and the reason behind building the conservatory complex also holds royal status as it was built for King Leopold II and the glass crown on the domed ceiling recalls the royal connection. During the spring months when the conservatory opens to the public, paradise on earth appears not far away via these glass pavilions and you should definitely not miss out on visiting the royal greenhouses of Leakin. Brussels Grand Place, the large place also known as the Grote Markt, is a showpiece of Belgian vernacular architecture surrounded by well-preserved town halls and other grand buildings, where the beautiful medieval town hall, a gothic masterpiece, is something everyone should consider catching its sight. This place is a UNESCO World Heritage Site for a reason. It is because of its remarkable example of late 18th century architecture. The square is bustling with tourists and locals all year and in current times, the tapestry of more than 700,000 cut begonias is installed in its center. Antwerp Antwerp is a medieval port city on the Scheldt River with a protracted history. The diamond district, where diamond traders, cutters and polishers are located, is located in the town center and features centuries-old homes. Antwerp, Belgium's second largest city, offers glittery sightseeing to its visitors. Dinant Dinant is an extraordinary park with almost unearthly beauty with its low-hanging mist and miles of untamed, rough nature. The place also happens to be home to wonderful wildlife like feral cats, wild boars, black grows, red deer and eagle owls all at one place. A portion of the park's more dates from the last ice period, a must-see goal in Belgium. Ardennes Ardennes are for real enthusiasts and adventurers. The Ardennes are a hilly region in Belgium that is one of the most popular destinations in Belgium. This place presents scenic beauty along with many adventurous activities to do. In addition, Ardennes boasts thick woods, cliffs, caverns and Belgium biodiversity and wild animals such as lynx, deer and wild boar and is ideal for trekking, camping and riding. Ardennes is one of the nicest destinations in Belgium to visit in a single day. Derby Derby welcomes visitors with open hearts and high spirits with a rustic labyrinth of meandering cobblestone alleys and pastoral houses draped in rhododendron, ivy vines and poppy petals nestled deep in a wooded valley in the heart of the Wallonia Ardennes. Between the alleys of the ancient town, a clutch of hearty and friendly Belgian beer establishments rubs elbows with skilled fine dining restaurants, while little passageways like Rue des Recolettes are a great pleasure for strollers. Hence, do visit Derby while you're on a trip to Belgium. Spa. The word spa itself screams a place for relaxation. Yes, the spa is a lovely and elegant site to visit in Belgium, and it's famed for having an original spa. The place is naturally gifted with an abundance of mineral-rich thermal waters because it's located in the Ardennes region of eastern Belgium. You can come here to unwind and enjoy the waters and hot springs' health and wellness benefits, beautiful architecture, thermal springs, a historic casino, an array of luxury hotels and a charming 19th century retro charm make it particularly appealing to the eye. Napoleon's Waterloo the hundreds of reenactors who gather each year to commemorate Napoleon's defeat on the fields surrounding Waterloo in 1815 by the United Kingdom, Prussia, Hanover and the Netherlands, Nassau and Brunswick are testament that the conflict lives on in the collective imagination. Aside from the annual show, the Lion's Mound, which is a man-made hill with a lion statue at its summit approximately 20 kilometers south of Brussels, and many other memorials commemorate the coalition's victory over the French commander over two centuries ago. Ypres Ypres is in the center of Westhoek, 
inscribed into the memory of many as the site is one of the most deadly and catastrophic battles of the First World War is a must-see for any history buffs travelling through Belgium. From 1914 onwards, French, Canadian, British, Anzac and other Allied troops dug out the rolling fields around this ancient city as they fought for control of West Flanders. The Menin Gate Memorial and the In Flanders Fields Museum, which has been praised as Europe's most comprehensive World War I museum, remember this horrific struggle day. Chateau de la Houpe Chateau de la Houpe is one of Belgium's most beautiful and genuinely magnificent places to visit. It is located in the town of La Houpe in the Waterloo Brabant and, less than an hour from Brussels, was inspired by the castles of the Loire Valley in France and served as the home of Marquis Maximilien de Bethune. However, unfortunately, the castle is not open to the public, but you can visit the garden, which is littered with sculptures and brimming with colourful flowers, as well as the surrounding park. Enjoy your time at Chateau de la Houpe. Tournai, this city on the Belgian-French border, is home to one of the world's most breathtaking cathedrals. The place is an authentic hotspot of art and sculptures that attracts art enthusiasts and history buffs. Tournai is one of the most attractive destinations to visit in Belgium, with several fantastic museums and art galleries, as well as the country's oldest town, Belfry. Leuven Leuven is on the list of rising, with its 800-year-old university, a booming student population of more than 25,000 beer-loving, erudite Belgians, and the famous Grand Beguinage district. You can explore the elegant streets that wind around the Grote Markt beneath the filigreed Gothic spires of one eye-watering city hall while enjoying your beer in one hand. This is the home of the sprawling InBev brewery, as well as countless specialist craft bars touting ancient Trappist ales and Belgian Abbey beers to boot. Meuse Valley The Meuse Valley, south of Brussels, is one of the best places to see in Belgium's agricultural heartland. The Meuse River is one of Belgium's most attractive river journeys, with rich woodland scenery interspersed with towering rocky castles, fortress ruins and tiny seashore towns backed by limestone cliffs. Visit the towns of Nemo or Dinant to plan your river excursion. Both of these little communities act as gateways to the area. The Meuse Valley offers a range of hiking and bicycle pathways. Isn't that exciting? Mons Mons, Belgium's proud, former European capital of culture and home to possibly the most magnificent old centre of the country, is draped over the southwestern mountains just a stone's throw from the French border. The activity centres on the enticing Grand Place Square, where one particularly attractive town hall stands in the shadow of Belgium's only Baroque belfry. The town also houses the former home of the totemic Dutch post-impressionist Vincent van Gogh, and the famous Ducasse festivities in the spring feature biblical reenactments, pitched fights between St. George and the Dragon, and horse parades. The Beaufort Project's permanent pieces Since the start of the Beaufort Project, strange-looking sculptures have been popping up all across Belgium's coastal communities. The exceptional pieces that earned a permanent spot at the end of the public's art triennial make the country's seaside a more exciting place to explore from on Queensay's giant, indented orange titans, in Ostend to Jan Fabre's self-portrait that has him riding a massive bronze turtle in Neoport. This was all about it. Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please like it and subscribe to the channel for more such exciting content. See you in the next video.